Hi, everybody. Thanks a lot for joining. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening and good morning. I was going to say, oh my God. So, good evening, everybody. Happy Monday. Good I hope you're evening. fine. I hope you're great. So, we are going to the second week. How are you? Everybody good? Is everybody doing okay? I am fine, teacher. You're fine? Amazing, amazing. So thanks everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos a nuestra segunda semana. I'm really happy to see um, that you're there, que ya están descansando, that you're at home, que están súper tempranito. Um, we are going to um, get started today. Well, not a comenzar, porque ya iniciamos unit number two. We are going to take the best we can to get the best vocabulary possible. Um, guys, no sé si solamente consultarles eh, si ya empezaron a trabajar with the platform, si han tenido algún inconveniente, si estamos bien, si ya la terminaron la unidad número dos. Ya. Yeah. Eso, amazing, amazing, amazing. Los demás todavía estamos en proceso, chicos. ¿Cómo van? How are you there? ¿Ya lo comenzaron? Todavía no. Van a esperar un ratito. Tell me. No yet. I am You started. Okay, so you started. All right, not a problem, not a problem. So, um, si ya comenzamos, that's very, very nice. Recordemos que eh, al terminar la sesión número 10, debemos de completar el examen de eh, la unidad número 2, right? Ahora wow. tenemos la sesión 8, significa que para el miércoles deberíamos de ya estarla completando, right? And have it ready. Intentamos eh, tomar la disciplina de hacerlo como ejercicio diario, así no se les acumula, especialmente porque esta semana van cuatro ejercicios más. Eh, eh, eh. Um, voy a comenzar tomándoles asistencia. Pedrina, me alegra verla. I'm happy to see you there. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, so, se me ayudan con la camarita, please. Help me out with your camera a moment. And... Solo me regalan confirmación verbal. Oh. Oh. Wait. Ah, bueno, Ah, bueno, lo que vi. Un segundito. Lo tengo en modo, si no, después me le pone en modo, que no me entiende. Perdón. Okay, so let me just go ahead and grab you there. Anita, ¿estamos por acá? No veo a Anita todavía. Sí, bueno, me quedo callada porque no me van a decir. Ahora, 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 Alex. Gracias, Alex. Deme solo un no, no, segundito. No, no, mandale. Ah, y me las entregas a mí en original. I'm sorry, guys. Solo voy a mutearlos un momentito. Just in case. No se hayan percatado. <laughs> Let me mute you. All right. Just hold on. Okay. So, Brian. Uh, missing Anita. Brian. Brenda. Okay. Eh, Danis, say yes, Sam. Thank you. I'm missing Danny. Dolores, por ahí via Dolores too. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Eduardo. Eduardo. No. Sí. Guadalupe. Present. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Jackie. Hola, Jackie. Present, Miss. Gracias, hello. Miss. Hello. Me alegra verla por acá, Miss. ¿Qué tal? Ya un poco. Que no toca la pantalla. Te da ya se lo arreglaron. Todavía no. Todavía está fallando. Uy. Esperemos que nos dé tiempo, right? Para poder practicar hasta el final. So hopefully that's going to work. 
Uh, hi, Jocelyn. Thank you so much. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hey. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, uh, Ignacio. No lo veo todavía. Norberto. Hi, Norbert. Hello. Hello. Marvin. Hello. Well, Present. Marvin ya no confirmó. Gracias. <laughs> yes, I, I catch. Uh, Marvin López. No. Clary. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Gracias, Miss. Moses. I am here. Gracias, Moses. Nelson. Okay, Pedrina. Yo sí veo a Pedrina, pero creo que ella no me escucha. Ah, oh, cómo no. Ahí está. Gracias. <ríe> yeah, I didn't know, ¿verdad, Nick? Present, present. Oh, gracias, gracias, René. Uh, Richard. Richard, no yet. Uh, Mabel. Por ahí vi a Mabel también. Present, teacher. Gracias, Todavía Miss. No estoy en la casa, pero ya me voy a conectar. Pero gracias. Thank you so much for that. That's amazing. Uh, Carlos. No, let me see. Ya, yeah, veo a Carlos por ahí. Creo que todavía no. Present, teacher. Gracias, Thank Carlos. You. Thank you so much. Claudia. Clau. No, no yet. And Tarina. Gracias, Karina. Por ahí la vi super early. Presentation. <laughs> thank you so much, Miss. Okay, okay. Okay, everybody. So, thanks a lot for joining. Um, gracias por acompañarnos today. Vamos a dar inicio con la sesión número 8. Nelson, good evening. Hello, Nelson. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Nice teacher. Good evening. Yes, that's amazing. Good evening. Gracias por acompañarnos. Nice to have you here. Deme un momento, solo le tomo asistencia here. Oh, no, I already did. No, so, no, I didn't. Okay. Okay, let me just present my screen so we can get started with today's activities. So, um, okay, there we go. So, vamos a seguir trabajando un poquito con Simple Present, but of course, vamos a ir enfocándonos un poco más cada vez en sure. speaking practice. Hola, hola. Sure. Hola. Tengo una pregunta, pero se lo voy a decir en español y después le voy a decir cómo lo escuché. Ah, dígame, Alex. Este, uno cuando dice, por ejemplo, quiero decir, ¿verdad? Uno, nosotros decimos, I can say, uh -huh. pero ya estaba viendo ahora lo de los cuentos que le decía. Ah, de sí, niño. claro, claro. La, pues, la cosa es que ahí el personaje no dice I can say, sino que dice, can I say, eh, y, y la palabra, ¿verdad? O can, can you have, can I have. Eh, a Juana Question le dice a otro personaje. Entonces, uh -huh. mi pregunta es: ¿cuál es la forma correcta de eso de decirlo así? ¿De quién hay? ¿Te puedo decirte o puedo uh -huh. hacerlo? ¿O hay quién? Ambas están bien, Alex. Both are good. La diferencia es que si yo le digo hay quién, yo le estoy contando. Pero si yo, le, yo comienzo con quién hay, yo le estoy preguntando. So, yo le ah. puedo decir, por ejemplo, I can, I can, ask, I, I can tell you something. Ok, I can tell you something es yo te puedo contar algo, pero no le estoy preguntando, yo le estoy diciendo que lo voy a hacer. Y si vengo y cambio el orden, en vez de I can, le pregunto, hey Alex, can I tell you something? Ahora sí le estoy pidiendo permiso, le estoy preguntando si le puedo contar algo. Entonces, ah, okay, ambos okay. están bien, la diferencia es qué es lo que usted quiera decir. Uh -huh. okay. Ajá, es que vi un, hay un diálogo ahí en un cuentecito. Uh -huh. Entonces, y ellos lo decían, los personajes, todito, todito, de una, Hi, perdón, de una forma distinta. Can uh -huh. I? Can I, ajá, o, uh -huh. o, can, o you, creo que me decía. You? Have, have you, decía, tú tienes. Ajá, oh. pero era acabando la pregunta. Oh, el have you ya vamos a revisarlo más adelante. Pero sí, si comienza con have you, no necesariamente es tener. Pero es como de experiencias, right? Se recuerda del have you ever, que veíamos, have you ever traveled, have you ever been, es alguna vez tú has. Entonces probablemente por ahí va la idea. Eh, si oh, tiene okay. la historia, you know, um, nos puede compartir la historia later. Tal vez algún compañero quiera practicar lo que usted hace. That's very nice. 
eh, Alex practica listening con historias y vocabulario, you know, so con historias cortitas. In case alguien más las quiera practicar, creo que es una muy buena idea. And, uh, y porque tienen listening también, ¿verdad, right, Alex? Tienen listening sí. las historias. Sí, 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 sí. Allá en el grupo lo voy a mandar. El, es es un canal. Perfect. Ya, yeah, especialmente si usted se pone a repetir lo que ellos están diciendo y a grabarse. Uh, that's much better. O si intenta entenderlo sin ver la letra, that's even better porque practica todas las habilidades. So yeah, that's a very nice thing. De hecho, a mí me gustaba hacerlo con, con muñequitos animados. <laughs> ok. Um, yes, and, and that works. That works a lot. Uh -huh. So thank you, Alex. Thank you for bringing that up. All right. Um, so guys, let's get started today to start. I have a little uh, exercise here for you. Well, primero, tenemos today one-on-one um, -on -one con Jocelyn. So please, miss. Um, ah, no, ahora es lunes. Ya me estoy pasando para martes. <laughs> ya que, so hopefully podemos hacerlo, uh, puede acompañarnos al finalizar la sesión. So we are having one-on-one -on -one, uh, with you. All right. Now, to get started, guys, tengo a little riddle, okay? Tengo como adivinanzas. I have some riddles. So, le voy a ir mencionando pedacito a pedacito una ocupación. I'm going to show you an occupation piece by piece. And I want you to tell me lo primero que se les venga a la mente. The first thing that comes to your mind, the first job that you consider this is, okay? Veamos si lo logre. Es el mismo eh, for each color. So let's begin. I wear a uniform. What job is this? Um, a police. Mm, okay, police officer. Alguien más? Anybody else? I wear a uniform. Police officer. Nurse. Nurse? Okay. Oh, very good. Algo más? Any, any other job? Doctor. Fireman. Oh, fireman. Fire. Okay. La siguiente clue. I often have a gun. Es el mismo, es el mismo. I wear, I wear a uniform and I often have a gun. Police. Police officer? Yeah, and any other? Gangster? Uh, gangster? What? <laughs> Guadalupe, what was that? No sé si la escuché mal. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no, escuché bien, <laughs> pero eso es un trabajo, <laughs> that's not a job, <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue, I conduct traffic, and mm. I catch thieves, what is this, what is the job? A taxi driver, taxis, oh, es el mismo, las, las cuatro describen una sola, they are describing one, only one job, What is the job? Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Mm, I wear a uniform. Agent. Agent. Ah, uniform. <laughs> uh -huh. I wear a uniform. I have a gun. A gun, right? A weapon, un arma. I conduct traffic or I catch thieves. What is the meaning of thieves? I don't know. What is thieves? Mm. ¿Ladrones? Ladrones, exactly. So, ¿Cuál es el, 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 la ocupación here? ¿Cuál police. es el trabajo? A police officer or a policeman. Exactly. Very good. Good, good. Let's go to the next one. I work in the sky. Oh my God. What is this? <laughs> What do you think? Uh -huh. I work in the sky. What do you think? Next one. I am open. I am often a woman. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. ah. My attendance. Oh, let's continue. I serve food and drinks. I don't remember Aeromosa, Miss. Aeromosa? Oh. And da -da -da -da. I'm just surely good looking. <laughs> Yeah, that's Aeromosa, but how do you say Aeromosa in English? Yeah. Fly attendants. Yeah, very good. Flight attendant, exactly. So that's flight attendant. What is the meaning of good looking? Flight, flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Flight attendant, there you go. Mm -hmm. 
Good looking es como atractivo o atractiva, right? Attractive. Not beautiful, not handsome, pero atractiva, all right? So that's the way. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's go for the last. Da -da -da -da. No quiere, wait. <laughs> for some reason, okay, and there it goes. I put things together. Oh my God, what is this? I put things together. Yeah, like put things together. Ordeno cosas, las pongo juntitas, right? I often work in shift. <laughs> what was the Stars. meaning of shift? Yes, Jocelyn? Stars. Could you repeat that? I don't remember the, the uh, attention al cliente. Oh, customer service. Yes, yes. Customer service. Okay, okay. Uh, well, that works. But let's continue. Veamos el resto. I work in a factory. Oh. I put things together. I often work in shift. I work in a factory. And the last one, I work on an assembly line. What is this? What is the job of this person? The, on an assembly line, I work in a factory, I work in shift, I put things together. What do you think? What is the job? Like los armadores, the people who put things together, que arman cosas, right? Any idea? Any idea how to say this in English? Yeah. No, difficult. <laughs> okay, so that is an assembler, all right? So it's an ensamblador, right? That is a person who puts things together, right? Alguien que trabaja en... Um, Line. Assemble, all right? Mm -hmm. So normally, for example, cuando importan motos, vienen en partes, right? They come in parts y las ponen juntas. Or when they bring cars, so las ponen juntas. So that is an assembler. A person who puts things together. Okay, there we go. So tenemos un par de expresiones here. For example, a catch thieves. Right? De atrapar ladrones, de capturar ladrones. We have, for example, I put things together. Yo ordeno cosas. Okay? Yo ilvano cosas. So I put things together. I often work in shift. Trabajo como en turnos, right? Turnos rotativos, etc. So I work in shift. Or I work in a factory. Those are some of the words that we have. Um, Preguntas con el vocabulario, guys, o estamos bien? Are we good with this? Good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So then let's move on a little bit. Let's go for the following part. So, uh, parte del objetivo, it says here, we are going to read collective schedule showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant. El día de ahora vamos a, a desarrollar un poquito más de listening, speaking practice. Um, to get started, tenemos una conversación pequeñita entre Ben y Matthew. So, uh, let me just choose two people here. ¿A quién tengo días de no escuchar? Pedrina, please, ayúdame con Ben. Can you help me with Ben? No sé si Pedrina está por acá. And uh, Delmi. Hi, Delmi. Good evening. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Here we go. Uh, please, tell me, ayúdeme con Matthew. Okay. Creo que Pedrina is not there yet. Okay. Eh, Norbert, ¿está por aquí? I guess now. Jocelyn, please, ayúdeme con Ben. <laughs> Help me a little bit with Ben. <laughs> Just read in the conversation, please. Hi, teacher. Excuse me. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. So, Jocelyn is going to help us. No problem. Okay. No worries. Hey, Matthew. 
I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Hey, Matthew. Who is who is going? How is it going? Mm -hmm. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You are right. Look who has the early and late shift, shift mm -hmm. for this coming weekend. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, According to me, your teacher. Yes, according to the schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Mm -hmm. And that would be it. Exactly. So this is very, very short, right? So guys, they are talking about um, the shift, como de su horario. Just to get started, vamos a revisar un, un par de expresiones. La primera, I'm relieved. Everybody, let's repeat this. I'm relieved. I'm relieved. What is I'm relieved? Uy, que alivio. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm relieved. Oh, estoy aliviada, all right? Oh, aliviado. Oh, I'm relieved that everybody's here today. Oh, que alivio que ya pagaron. <laughs> I'm relieved I got my money. I'm relieved I got my salary. Guys, ¿cuándo se sienten aliviados? When do you feel relieved? En ningún momento. What is something that makes you feel relieved? For example, I feel so relieved cuando veo que me quedaron un par de dólares oh. del mes, ¿ya? Yeah? So I'm yeah. relieved that I get extra money. What about you? Cuando se sienten como, uff, ok? I, I relieved when I finish the, the homework. Yes, and you get a 10. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> or for example, cuando, eh, when I'm out, o ya salgo tarde de mi casa, when I'm late, you know, y, y llego a tiempo al trabajo. So I'm relieved when I get to work uh -huh, on time. Yeah. And you are like, uy, falta un minuto para las ocho. <laughs> so I feel relieved, right? What about you? When do you feel relieved? Um, I feel relieved when I get home every day. Oh, nice. When you're like, oh, thank God I'm here. Yeah. No accidents. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So that is relieved. I'm relieved or I feel relieved. Me siento aliviado <laughs> o aliviada, right? If, for example, the person says here, because of traffic, you know, because of traffic jams, right? The other one we have is shift. We said last time, shift is el turno, right? So early, early and late shift. En este caso, porque no entran a la misma hora. Normally in El Salvador, todos tienen como el mismo horario de, de entrada y de salida. But in some companies, they don't, porque trabajan más tiempo, right? So early and late shift. And we have the beautiful word that is schedule, right? But I'm super happy because ya escuché que la mayoría um, eh, no tiene dificultades con la pronunciación de schedule. So we are super, super good. Okay, today vamos a trabajar un poquito con esto, pero antes, before getting into schedules and everything, let's take a look at some extra vocabulary. Primero, first, I want you to take a look at this little description. This is Betty. And Betty is a waitress. Les voy a dar tres minutitos. I will give you three minutes para que lo lean, para que entiendan de qué se trata, para que intentamos, so you can try um, to get main ideas. Si hay palabras que no las conocen, escríbanlas, please write them down. Y me lo van a contar. Nos van a intentar contarlo de qué se trató, right? So three, four minutes. Leanlo para ustedes, read it. Intenten no usar el diccionario, don't use the dictionary, solo para una palabra, dos palabras que no las conozcan, right? But in general, please, intenten comprenderlo. Three minutes.
I'll give you uh, one more minute. Okay, everybody. So this is like reading number one. This is about <laughs> Betty, who is the waitress. Now tell me, what do you remember? What do you remember about this reading, Betty's reading? Give me pieces of information, please. She's a wait waitress and she works every day mm -hmm. at uh, 8 at 5 p.m. Okay, uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. 5 p.m. Uh -huh. And someday uh, cooks the dinner with her family. Mm -hmm. And someday travel in, 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 in the train, train, because she visited her, visit her family, sorry, her aunt. Oh, that's nice. Quite a lot of information. Very good. Anybody else? What else do you remember? Any detail is important. Tell me. Había bastante información. There was a lot. Tell me. She works Monday to Friday, and uh -huh. she doesn't like working and working. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. What else? She is thirteen for. Exactly. She's thirty-four years old. Uh huh. What else do you remember? And 
it's important. It is really important to have enough time to relax. Oh, that is what she says, right? It's important to have time to relax. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Very nice. What else do you remember? She doesn't to like uh, like to work on weekend. Ok, ok. Eso es lo que se recordaron más, right? <laughs> you, feel the, uh, you felt identified. Se sintieron identificados, like me too. <laughs> ok, good. ¿Qué más? Nice. What else? Any other piece of information you remember? She works from Monday to Friday and mm -hmm. she likes to have time to rest and okay. visit, visit her uh, aunt. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, okay, very good, very good. So I guess we got the same piece of information. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, you're right, from eight to five, okay. She has quite tiring weekends, right? So let's repeat the word, tiring. 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 Mm -hmm. Como cansados. She has quite tiring weekends. Tiring. Cuando se dice, por ejemplo, que día más cansado. What a tiring, tiring day. Right? So, no lo decimos para nosotros, no que I am tiring, no. Sino I'm tired. Pero de una actividad, sí, I'm tiring. I mean, the activity is tiring. Yeah, so what a tiring day. O oh, jugar is so tiring. Es como que le causa cansancio, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, she goes, oh, nadie me mencionó, like she goes to her hairdresser. Que va a que le arreglen el cabello. She goes to her dresser. No, okay. no, no es important. <laughs> But you remember, <laughs> though, that she nah, traveled nah, by nah. train. Uh -huh. because, oh, because, that's important. <laughs> that's for important. Boy, no. Norbert? For the boy, no. Oh, of course, for boys, no. But for <laughs> her... Probably. <laughs> oh, pero dice que once a month she goes to her hair to the hairdresser and has her haircut. Guys, girls, especially. Uh, what do you think about this? Once a month she goes to the hairdresser and has her hair cut. What do you think? Alguien va todos los meses. Do you go every month to get your hair cut? A cortarse el cabello. No, um, maybe two. No, right. two, one, two times. Yes. Two times. Uh, no, but, but I mean, in boys, this is more common. Boys, how often do you cut uh, your hair? How often do you get a haircut? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Fifteen day. So, twice a month. Dos veces al mes. Twice yeah. a month, okay, okay. But in girls, I get it cut maybe twice a year. Because that's the business al año. Maybe I get it twice a year. And what about the rest of you? Uh, Every uh, week? 15, 15 days. 50, okay, so every, so every, okay, for night. Digamos que every two weeks, cada dos semanas, every two weeks. Every, every, every is cada. Every is cada, correct. So every, uh -huh. uh, se le voy a escribir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every two weeks, every, every two weeks. Or okay. the, that could be dos veces al mes, twice a month, right? But a I read this, y para mí fue como que raro. <laughs> that is not very common, right? But okay, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So, no, new vocabulary? Encontrar vocabulary nuevo? No? Teacher, quite. And they say quite, has quite. ¿Cómo oh, pronuncio? Esta palabra de acá? Yes. Quite. Quite. Mm -hmm. quite. Okay. She has quite tiring weekends. La palabra quite no significa mucho. Eh, so, solamente es como que usted lo haga más grande algo. All right. Um, let me give you an example. La palabra quite es como si yo hago algo mucho más, más grande. All right. 
for example, I say the jacket is expensive, right? The jacket is expensive. Pero mm -hmm. yo quiero um, hacerlo más grande esto, que es como muy, muy cara. Entonces ah. yo vengo y le agrego la palabra quite para indicar o para um, exagerar, ¿verdad? So, oh, the jacket is quite expensive. No le está cambiando el significado, solo lo está exagerando. So, quite, the más grande, right? Or when you say, for example, the, um, the hospital... Que el hospital, the hospital is no easy, right? Como es muy ruidoso, pero como nosotros tendemos a exagerar, you can simply say quite. Siempre le pongo el quite antes. The hospital is quite noisy. Como exagero un poquito. Ay, qué ruidoso. All right? So that is the one. Mm -hmm. That is the word quite. ¿Alguien más? Anybody else? Probably not. Okay, let's go ahead and add one. So it's uh, has her haircut. Haircut, estas dos juntas, es el corte de cabello. You can say, I cut my hair, y está bien. O también puedo hacerlo de la misma forma que ellos lo explican aquí. I have my hair cut. Tengo o me cortan el cabello. Solamente utilizando eso, I have my hair cut. That, that is another way, right? Teacher, what is the meaning? Out, out, mm. in the, oh, the, 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 twice a year when she visit her out. Oh, this one, this word, yes. this is Tia. So she visits her aunt, her aunt in the capital. So es su tía. So you have mother, father, aunt. Yeah, this is her aunt. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Very nice. So let's move away from Betty. Y vamos a una más. Let's go with one more to see si encontramos palabras nuevas también, right? So let's take a look at this one. This is Kate, all right? Probably lo van a encontrar más interesante, more interesting. Probably más aburrido, more boring. So read it, let's take it out, all right? Let, let's uh, go over this one. Y tal vez encontremos algo que se, you know, nos parezcamos con ella. So I'll give you four more minutes. Again, palabras nuevas, new vocabulary. Write it in a notebook. Okay, luego la revisamos. But please try not, en la medida de lo posible, no usen el diccionario. Try not to use the dictionary. So let's do it for five minutes.
Okay, everybody, are we ready? Is that okay? Necesito más tiempo, do you need more time? Or did everybody finish? Is everybody done? Todos terminaron? Longer. It's a little long. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you one more minute, no worries. The palabras that you don't identify, solo sigan, just continue, that's okay. Ok, 
Okay, everybody. So let me just go back to the previous one. And uh, I want to listen. Remember, this is, uh, the idea is not to memorize it. So I'm not asking you because they lo memorizan. But just, I want you to tell me what you remember, right? That is the idea. So the conversation or the reading is about Kate, who is 28 years old. So what do you remember about Kate? ¿Qué se recuerdan de ella? What do you remember? Kate is a science. Oh, exactly. So her job is very unique. She is a scientist. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have more, a lot of time. Oh, okay. She doesn't have a lot of time. Very good. What is she? She is, she is a healthy woman. Oh, healthy woman. she is healthy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very she good. Lives, she lives alone. But she lives she, alone. But she wants to have a family. Oh, now, very good. Uh huh. And now she hasn't got a boyfriend. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Okay, very good, exactly. She wants to have a family, but she doesn't have a boyfriend. Okay, what do you remember? What else? It was long, there was a lot. She plays the guitar. Oh, she plays the guitar, okay. And she, she eats she's an apple. She eats apple? Mm -hmm. Her work is far from your home. Mm -hmm. Her job, you said, is it's far? far. Oh, from okay. Her home. Okay, okay. So it is far from her home. Okay. Nice. What else? Um, I think Karina mentioned something about the apple. Um, explicaron más también un poquito de la manzana. So they said something else about the apple. Anything else? ¿Qué más se recuerdan? It's an apple every day because she's, she's I don't remember exactly. <laughs> okay. But but yeah. It's about uh, uh, wait, no doctor. Her doctor cat. Yeah, okay. It's related to doctors. <laughs> okay. Um, in English, hay un dicho que es como an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Como si se come una manzana al día, no necesita ir al doctor. That is the, uh, the phrase, yeah, the, the expression. Um, and in English, we use it. Es como que coma saludable, right? So, an apple a day keep the do keeps the doctor away. All right. Anything else? Let's take a look. Let me show you para que revisemos so we compare qué se nos quedó. All right. She says she prefers her workplace is rather... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make this smaller. Okay, her workplace is rather far from her home. That's right, right? Oh, watching movies. She can uh, watch movies late. She has little time. Mm -hmm. She has, oh, she plays a guitar. This is very important. It says she is a health-minded woman. Eh, so health-minded woman es como que su mente se enfoca en ser saludable, right? Like comer saludable, hacer ejercicio, things like those. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a family. I think you said it all. So lo mencionaron todo. Super bien. Very nice job. Really, really good. New vocabulary. ¿Encontraron palabras nuevas? Are we good with this? Teacher, eh, yes. for to... Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, desafortunadamente. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, so, unfortunately. Yes, palabra, yes, palabra re, rarely. Rara. Rarely, uh -huh, rarely, raramente. So, cuando vean una palabra que termine con L Y, eh, termina con mente en español. Rarely, raramente. Crazily, locamente um, well normally de, eh, normally <ríe> ok de hecho todos los adjetivos le puedo agregar L Y 
y los cambio a li, ok. Um, no se vayan a asustar si alguna vez ven una palabra con li, es que ya la modificaron. So, for example, imagine, solo para darles una idea. I say, for example, I have happy. You know that this is feliz, pero yo le puedo hacer una pequeña modificación y lo convierto en happily. So, happily es como felizmente. Ah, uh -huh. exactly. Okay. I have, for example, beautiful. Pero algunas veces, ustedes van a ver la palabra modificada. Oh, that was, it was beautifully. Okay, so beautifully es como hermosamente. Okay, so that is the expression. So, no se vayan a asustar. It's the same word, solo que le agregan mente. And that's it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, very good. Very good, guys. I'm super happy for a couple of things. Number one, eh, nuestro vocabulario va aumentando. Our vocabulary reading comprehension is good. Eh, los estuve escuchando. Terceras personas muy bien pronunciado. Very good job with that. Um, and well, let's just get started and continue. Parte de la actividad de ahora es hablar un poquito de horarios. Así que let's get into this. It says here, look at the schedule at a restaurant and answer the following questions. So, ayúdenme un poquito con esa parte. Uh, here, tenemos los horarios from 10 a.m. up to 10 p.m., que es el último. So, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12, uh, or noon, 1, 2, etc. Here, you have the name of the people. So, cashiers. We have cooks, we have a manager, uh, the order takers at these specific times, and the waiter or waitress in the case of Haley. So, take a look at this. Read the schedule and answer the questions below. Vamos a las preguntas. Number one, who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? So, we need a name. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Uh, Walter Omo Matutuli. Exactly. Walter Omo and Matthew Tully. Uh -huh. So, who is in charge? ¿Quién está a cargo? Right? Who is in charge? Number two. Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Look at this schedule, pobre mujer, poor woman, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., right? I mean, of course, but she is working, oh my God, long hours. Realmente es bastante tiempo, it's a long time. Okay, three, who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin and Karen Dury. Hailey? Kevin and Karen. Kevin and Karen Dolly. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, we have kitchen, so maybe we're talking about cooks. So Kevin and Karen, right? Mm -hmm. That would be it. Number four, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Taking orders. Carlos. Carlos? Emiliano. Carlos. Exactly, both of them. So Jorge and Carlos. Good. And number five, what does Matthew do? This, this is a waiter. Matthew is a waiter. Okay. Yeah. So, está a cargo de qué? He's in charge of what? Make to the people. Exactly, take orders. So he's in charge of, well, acá está el order taker. Mm, acá él está como bien dividido, el que toma la orden y el waiter. So, si hay un order taker, podría ser, you know, it could be that one. Well, ¿Qué más podría ser, eh, Matthew? Normally, ¿qué hacen los waiters? Or waitresses. A 
aparte de tomar la orden, what else comes to your mind? Serve the food. Serve food, exactly. Um, maybe take the menu, right? Uh, clean the tables. Mm -hmm. So we have like a lot of different activities here. Okay, very good. Now, tenemos esa expresión, who is in charge of? ¿Quién está a cargo de? Hablemos un poquito. Let's talk a little bit about nuestras propias obligaciones. So, previously veíamos una pregunta que era, what are your duties at work? Right? So, ¿cuáles son sus obligaciones? What are your duties at work? Vamos a hablar un poquito ahora de esto. So, I am in charge. I am in charge of. Y la siguiente palabra que vamos a utilizar va a ir con ing. I am in charge of cleaning. Por ejemplo, si yo fuera una waiter, eh, probablemente estaría a cargo de limpiar. So, la palabra es clean, pero le voy a agregar ing. I am in charge of cleaning the tables. I am in charge of, quiero decir, llevar el menú. So, this is take the menu, right? Take the menu, pero como le tengo que agregar ing, so taking the menu, etc., etc. Guys, what are your duties at work? ¿De qué se encargan ustedes en la empresa? In your company. ¿Cuál es su obligación? Right? What are your duties at work? I'll give you two minutes. Piensen un poquito en cuáles son sus obligaciones. Like the main obligations you have. And ya nos las van a compartir. You share them in a moment. No se les olvide agregarle ING. I am in charge of. Y la siguiente ING. ING. One more minute. Okay, guys. So, what are your um, what are your duties at work? 
What are some of the activities you are in charge of? I can go to the accident. I can, I take a picture mm -hmm. and also I can write in the report for uh, one accident mm -hmm. every day. Okay, okay, I just got a question for you. Um, wh when you say I can, you mean like, uh, lo que sucede es que el quien me da la idea de permiso, que yo tengo el permiso cierto, de hacerlo. Es, debo ir. <ríe> ah, yo creo que, eso es que no es que sea una opción, right? <ríe> ah, ¿Debo ah, cómo decirte? Eh, puedes utilizar, ok, esto de acá, I am in charge of, que es como es mi obligación, right? O puede utilizar I must, en vez de que solamente hace el cambio I must. Or I have to, cualquiera de, de las tres está bien. Any of them is good. Ser. I have to go to the uh -huh. accident for exactly. the speak to my client. Quiero ver who are, ¿cómo sería? Que debe de decirme. They have he, to tell me. They have to tell me mm -hmm. uh, when the, one description for the accident. Mm, okay, uh, okay. After, after I, I must to reading on one day inform. Mm -hmm. eh, 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 del accidente, ¿verdad? The report. Mm -hmm. The, uh, uh -huh. The report. Uh -huh. Ok, very nice. Much better. Exactly. Because el have to me da la idea que es obligación. No es como, ay, no quiero. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. But el have to me da la idea que es obligatorio. Ok. Thank you, Alex. Very good description. Guys, what are you in charge of? What are your duties? Anybody else? Uh, yeah, it must as go. And in charge of supervising the mm -hmm. opera, uh, the personal, okay, in the personnel in the production plant. Mm -hmm. I am in charge of reviewing the quality process. Mm -hmm. Do you review uh, it? Review. <laughs> do, do you do you check it? Do you review it? Sí, yeah, yes, uh, como revisar, uh -huh. yeah. yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, I am in charge of making the reports. Mm -hmm. For example, are you in charge of um, modifying the process? Excuse me, teacher. Are you in charge of modifying process? Like uh, changing, uh, changing, modifying? No, no, creo que no lo entiendo. Yo también lo entiendo. Eh, modifying, uh, uh, ok, are you in charge, es como está a cargo de, right? Ajá. Are you in charge of changing processes? Lo que sucede es que mencionó que you are in charge of supervising personnel, um, checking the quality process, creo que escuché, right? Ok, now my question is, are you in charge of changing processes? ¿Puede también cambiar algún proceso? Can no, you ah, ok. No. You're not. No. Because no. In, in companies sometimes tienen como eh, la acreditación de ISOs, right? Exactly, so, exactly. Ajá, uh -huh, so that ISO, is why. Mm -hmm. ISO, etc. So, yeah, exactly. So algunos pueden cambiar o modificar procesos and some others solo es el, el reporter. Uh, that was my okay. question. Oh, got sure. it, got it. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? What are your duties, guys? What are your duties at work? No logré identificar de quién es la voz. I couldn't hear that. Guadalupe también, pero si quiere. Yeah, es que escuché como tres. I heard them. Are you in three? Two boys. Yeah, me too. I heard three boys. I listen three boys. Yeah, let's go with Karina, then let's go with Guadalupe, let's go with Mabela. Let's go, Karina. Okay. I, I follow in the tracking of the pusher order okay. provided to the store. Okay. I need to check, I check the documents to import the merchandising. Um, I negotiated uh, some frames, 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 <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, I make an inventory report. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm making the cost or the product put wow. here with uh, the costume, the costume cost. Wow. Are you in charge of creating and making ducas? Um, no, because I have a, a agent, but I need to, to check. Okay, so you check. Yeah, because the cars are like, I know. <laughs> I, I have seen them, but I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> okay, that's really hard. Yes. Okay, got it, got it. Thank you. Lupita, let's do it, Lupita. Uh, I am in charge of the developing, developing the sample. Ah, okay. I am in charge of giving information for production. Okay, like to your bosses. Yes. Uh, okay. And I am chair the supervising the process of the sample. Okay, so you are in charge of supervising like processes, samples, but not people. Yes. People Just, too. Yes. Oh, okay. Are you in charge of monitoring people and checking like the production, productivity time, production time? Not really. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, it's more like product related. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, but that's nice, very nice. I like the way you presented and you explained them, very good vocabulary. Very like um, technical too. Mabel, what do you do, Mabel? <laughs> um... I am a chair, chair of maintaining mm -hmm. the operation of the company. Oh, and that's what does it, it mean? That is uh, all operation areas were to provide assistance service and um, check budget, cost, uh, um, supervise uh, the personnel. Entre otros, ¿cómo sería? Among <laughs> others. <laughs> among others. Um, among others. I'm going to write it here so you can have it. Yeah, among others. Okay. 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 Among others. Wait. Among others. Entre otras. Mm -hmm. Among others. Okay. Interactuar, ¿cómo es? Interact. Okay. Interact uh, with clients. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, interact or meet. Um, a veces no, no es reunión, solo es una llamada. Interactuamos por algún tema nomás. Hablamos, pero no es una reunión en sí. También reunión. Mm, mm, ¿Cómo oh. sería? Todos los días tengo contacto con, con ellos. That could be, that could be, interact is fine, but uh, in your, por el tipo de ambiente, eh, creo que es, todo es como relacionado con trabajo, right? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, no es como, ay, voy a llamar a mi amigo. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I mean, interact is super good. Quizás como es eh, business related, quizás utilizaría como meet or contact. So contact the uh, client contact, regularly contact the uh -huh, client. or meet the client regularly. Aunque no sea una reunión como tal, puede, puede ser considerada una llamada. You know, meet, contact. Mm -hmm. So that was a nice description. Wow. Oh, I know that yeah. operations is really hard. Very similar oh, to input super. export. Yeah. Y, y como, como podría decir que tengo que velar por la interacción eh, porque la interacción de todas las áreas de la operación uh -huh. se ve de manera armónica o sea o que sí case lo que cada uno tiene que hacer para que realmente podamos cumplir pero no uh -huh. sé cómo decir todo okay so that can be like um, I need to make sure uh, let me see I need to make sure all the areas interact yeah, all areas. I need to make sure put things together. I need to put things now. Let me, let me just try to. Déjeme no traducirlo. <laughs> I just get the idea, but, but I got it like to Spanish right now. Yeah, no me del cassette. Wait, necesito hacer el cambio. <laughs> okay. So I need to make sure all areas 
work properly to meet the goal. Es como a que todas las áreas trabajen juntas, right? O tra trabajen sí, no, coordinadas. Como, como el área es operaciones, pero cada una tiene sus partes. Por ejemplo, está el call center, está proveedores. Eh, está el médico bueno, eh, hay diferentes áreas pero lo que, yo tengo que velar porque toda la interacción en los puntos donde ellos interactúan eh, sí se estén dando de manera correcta, por ejemplo que el call center si sí logre hacer, por ponerle un ejemplo básico, una captura correcta de información para que cuando se la dé al proveedor, el proveedor sí pueda llegar bien y rápido porque si cor por ejemplo, la dirección está mal, el proveedor va hacia otro lado y nos demoramos más y ya tenemos un servicio no conforme. Entonces hay pedacitos de, de actividades que hace cada, cada área que siempre son parte de la operación, en que si lo hacen mal, nos dañan todo el proceso. Entonces tengo que velar porque eso, esos aspectos críticos funcionen, y como son áreas... O sea, sí todo es de operaciones, pero, pero en cada parte, ¿no? uh -huh. a veces cuesta empatarlos. What happens es que su área se llama, si no me equivoco, WFM. Um, ¿Qué sería? Sí, si no me equivoco, su área es como de operatividad, se llama WFM, que es... Oh my God. De entradas y salidas. Ajá, uh -huh, es management... Uh -huh. I have forgotten. Uh, but, but I'm going to check... Mm. De forma bien general, you know, uh -huh. eh, to meet the goal is fine. Eh, I would say probably podríamos eh, traducirlo en eso. Okay. Like, I need to ensure, ensure es como asegurarme. I, uh -huh. uh, yeah, I need to ensure all areas work properly to meet the goal is fine. Como bien, bien, you know, properly general. Que es. Apropiadamente. So I need to uh, ensure all areas work properly to meet the goal assigned. Um, okay. Let me investigate a little bit more because creería que si su área es WFM y, y hay como ya, you know, objetivos trazados. But that was a mm -hmm. nice description. Thank you for sharing okay. that. I like mm -hmm. the way you use, uh, I'm in charge as well. That's very nice. Okay, okay, guys. Now let's just move on a little bit. I have one more activity here for you. And it is the following. Tenemos un poquito de scrambling y luego nos vamos a speaking activity. So here we have, I'm scramble the following words to make sentences or equations. Um, as we said before, no vamos a enfocarnos mucho en escritura. Let's try to do it orally, all right? En, en su mente, en el aire, vamos intentando ordenarla. For example, take a look at number well, era número uno, but okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at number two. It says, brother, your, y tenemos do. También tenemos play. What is this? Y tenemos el signo de interrogación. We have the question mark. So, who wants to help me with this? Do you and your brother play together? Do you and your brother play together? Exactly, very good. That's nice. What about number two? Who has number two? Alice uh, doesn't watch television. Very good. Alice doesn't watch television. Nice. What about number, <laughs> number four? Who can make number four? I don't listen to music. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. Thank you, Brian. Number five. Number five is a question, guys. Who wants to help me with five? Does cure doctor a people? Mm, más o menos, más o menos. Solo vamos a cambiar una cosita. Does de doctor, uh, does cure doctor a people? Does cure doctor a people? Does doctor cure people? Does a... Ajá. Solo es una palabra que vamos a cambiar. Does doctor cure a people? 
una palabra, una, yeah, una letra. Me, that's <laughs> yes. a doctor, that's a doctor, cure people. Yes, there we go, mm -hmm. exactly, very nice. That's a doctor, cure people. Okay, number six, what about number six? My nice lives in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so my niece lives in Chicago. Number seven. Norbert, can you help us with seven? Let's go, not a bird. Excuse me, teacher. Um, I am. It's not I am. Con ahí estamos bien. Hey, Ignacio. Creo que escuché su voz. <laughs> I think I heard your voice. Okay. Not a bird. Con ahí estamos bien. Con ahí is good. Busquemos ahora. Que I, not just I, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, a I have, Norbert, solo una cosita. Tenemos la palabra usually. Yes, yes, uh, I, I have, uh, yes. usually. Usually. usually, usually, I have usually at mm -hmm. a, 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 a usually have. Oh, usually, brave. Exactly, exactly. So usually, siempre va después del sujeto cuando no hay verbo be. So I usually have very good. I usually have breakfast at eight o'clock. Thank you so much. Number eight. Who wants to help us with number eight? They. Yeah, they they go. To the, they go to the, they usually. Tenemos usually, exactly. So they usually don't go. They go usually. The theorem. Y tenemos el don't. Don't, yeah. Don't they. Ellos usualmente no van. So, what is the one in English? They, they, don't, they usually don't, don't, don't go to don't, the don't theater. Go, don't, go. Go, don't go. Okay, super, super uh, close. Solo cambiamos un poquito. They don't está super bien. So, they don't. Don't usually go. Um, mm. To the theater. <laughs> yes, exactly. You got it. They don't usually go to the theater. Excellent. Yeah, there we go. Number nine. What about number nine? Teacher, repeat. Uh, theater. Theater. Yes, theater. theater. Thank you. The, the, theater. They don't usually go to the theater. Mm -hmm. Number nine. What about number nine? Do you often uh, spend the morning? Uh, okay, no. okay, okay. No, yeah, you got it. Pero creo que me le faltó you. una expresión acá. No. Do you often? Está super bien. Do you often? I don't spend. No morning. Spam. Do you do often you, spend? Do you usually? Uh huh. Do you often spend? Lot of money. Lot, lot of, mo lot of, of money. Lot of money. Uh -huh. Lot of money. Do you often spend a lot of money? Exactly. So do you often spend a lot of money? Por lo general, gastas mucho dinero. Do you uh, often spend a lot of money? How would you answer that? ¿Cómo le responderían? Do you often spend a lot of money? Yes, we. Only <laughs> in, my, in my case, only the 15 uh, or the, the first month when when I recite the pay the pay. Oh, only the okay, only the first two three days. <laughs> okay, más cuando el pago es mensual, right? Oh, that's so difficult. Okay, <laughs> okay, and the last one, guys. The last one is a little longer, pero no es muy difícil. It's not that hard. What do you have in number ten? My friends go to the, the cinema 
twice a month. Mm, ok, ok. You got the idea, pero me le faltan un par de eh, palabritas. Mm -hmm. I go. My friends and I. Okay, so my, my friends. Friend, no? My friends and I. Go to the cinema. Uh huh. Twice a month. Exactly. My friends and I go to the cinema twice a month. All right. So we have this word, guys. All right. Twice. Okay, twice. Twice. Once. Twice is enter. Enter. No, no, no. Uh, Mm, se parece bastante a between, probably. Eh, this is twice. Tenemos once and twice. So once, una vez. Twice, dos veces. Once bueno. and twice. Mm -hmm. It's, It's not twice. necessary uh, to use the time. Eh, ¿Cómo no? Acá dice, eh, my friends and I go to the cinema twice. Y month. luego está twice a month, dos um, veces al mes, twice a month. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. Si fuera una vez, once a month. Si fuera tres veces, my friends and I go to the cinema. ¿Cómo digo tres veces? In three times. Three times, exactly. Three times, four times, y todo le vamos agregando solamente times. Okay, good guys, good. Enough grammar, enough vocabulary. Vamos a practicar un poquito right now. We're gonna practice a little bit. Okay, let's do the following. I have some questions uh, for you, okay? The idea is get this topic ready, you know, desarrollar más fluidez. Um, we know, ya sabemos cómo organizar las ideas, ahora intentemos hacerlo. Um, I have some questions for you. For example, what do you like to do? Do you do any sport? Like si hacen deporte. What type of movies do you like? Do you play video games? What do you usually do with friends? Is learning in English a hobby or work? Do you have any unusual hobbies? Do you have enough time for your hobbies? What is the meaning of enough? What is enough? Suficiente. Suficiente. Do you have enough time for your hobbies? Por ejemplo, veíamos la historia anterior de la científica, right? Que no tenía tiempo. She didn't have time. What about you? Do you have enough time for your hobbies? What is a common hobby? And what do you think is the boring hobby? So, ¿cuál de los hobbies es aburrido? Something that you say, uh, no. <laughs> okay, not for me. I don't like it. Too boring. In my case, Something that I consider that is really boring as a hobby, for example, is coleccionar. Like coin collectors, los que coleccionan eh, monedas, you know, objects, albums. I respect it, pero mm, siento que no es para mí. That's definitely not for me. Is there any hobby for you that you consider is a little boring? I don't know, probablemente jugar ajedrez, probably chess, or watch TV, you know, or I don't know. So, vamos a practicarles. Eh, remember, la idea de las preguntas no es que solo digan yes, no. <laughs> ok, extiéndanse. En todo lo que quieran decir en español, try to do it, try to say it in English. Y si no saben cómo hacerlo... Ask your classmates, yo quiero decir esto, pero no hay cómo hacerlo, ayúdenme, ¿ok? And help each other, so the idea is help everybody else, right? Ayúdense, and si necesitan ayuda, también yo estoy ahí. Es, le dan clic en el signo de pregunta, and I will be there. So, I'm going to ask you guys, que vamos a unirnos, tenemos 10 minutos. Al regresar, when we come back, suena como canal 21, creo. <ríe> al regresar, all right, um, vamos a hacer la mis lo mismo que hemos hecho las veces anteriores. Seleccionamos un par para que sea un minuto top de esas mismas preguntas. So, please, practíquenlas as much as possible para que ya se les vaya el miedo, right? And we can do it. So, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. <coughs> Thank you. 
Which it's set? The whole of the drugs online is 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 affected. How is Netflix? Yes, I like it. The watch uh, sports. Uh, I don't know. I like uh, listen music. Um, I like uh, drink beers with my friends. Okay. <laughs> Play Uno. That's it. Okay. In my case, uh, I like the playing with my daughter. I like uh, watching watch a uh, series. My favorite series is Smallville. Uh, then mm, I love sing every day. Um, I like um speaking with my family and um, I like um, listening my my daughter uh, where when she I uh, learned a new a new uh, 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 something um, and finally I like I like um I like uh, play I like play to piano. That is really good. <laughs> okay. And Nelson, how about you? What do you like to do? Okay. Okay, in my case, I like play with my son. I like a uh, dry motorcycle and I like eat, but not, but do not like drink, drinking. Okay. Bueno, alcohol, alcohol drinking. Okay. Very good. And I like visit, I like visit and the beach. Oh, the um, ah, yeah. <laughs> to me. And I eat um seafood. Seafood, wow, oh, delicious. <laughs> okay, and Anna. Okay. And you, okay, Karina. After Anna, I say. Okay. Uh, in my case, I like um, ride a bike. I like uh, help her homework, my daughter. I like eat delicious. And I like um, watch, watch television. Washing the dishes. <laughs> no, wash the dishes. That is only that. Okay. Okay. In my case, I like walk. 
uh, but I prefer walk and the mountain. Mountain. Um, I like uh, talk with my family during the dinner because it's the unique time we are together for work. <laughs> After work, and um, I like watching Netflix. Uh, I always put um, um, comedies, movies, or or some series, series like uh, La Casa Papel. It's one of my favorite. <laughs> almost, almost <laughs> start the the season, <laughs> and and I like uh, to some sports. Okay, the next question is, I don't know if, if, if Brian asked. Okay. Uh, do you do any sport, Jocelyn? Uh, when I was a younger, yes. In the actual? No. <laughs> the sport, no. Okay. Nothing. You Nelson? Sport in the actual, no. Okay. And you? No. Can you me? Do you do any sport? Um, Sometimes go, go to the Zumba. Swing? <laughs> Yes. Zumba. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh. Sometime, oh. sometime. Two Zumba time. Samba. Two time um week. I got okay. excited when you said Zumba. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> danced in a long time. That's super yeah. cool. I'm a, I'm a class of Zumba. Okay. <laughs> Anita, <laughs> yes. In this class yes. Zumba. Yes. Yes, yes. You can yes. show us the yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but the the last month I I remember I was uh, uh, dancing with the Patrick Jordan. Patrick Jordan. <laughs> yes, uh, Is she, she a dancer. Uh, she is training in YouTube. Uh, oh, it's in, a girl. This yes, this channel uh, her gym virtual. She is a training in. I remember I I I was dancing with her. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. You know, I just started like one year ago. Oh, no, during quarantine. Because during quarantine there were not too many activities. So in YouTube, there is a boy from Norway, I think. And and he's kind of a trainer too. But I did a Zumba because of him, because he was very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only time. <laughs> the Zumba is But difficult. It's good. Yeah, it's very Yes, cool. it's difficult. Más que todo, es de estar viendo bien al entrenador, lo que está haciendo. Concentrarse en eso. Definitely. It And you, difficult. Karina, do you uh, do any sport? Um, actually, sometimes. No, much time. But it was what sport do you do? Young, younger, I practice wrestling during 15 years, a long time. <laughs> And I really like that sport because it's on a combination. Yeah, uh, we run. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hello. 
How are you doing? Did you finish with all the questions? No, I don't have any No. Y vamos a hacer un, unos minutitos a uh, completarlas y no le vamos a compartir. A mí me faltan todavía. Con... Oh, but, but no worries. No, the idea was like to socialize. Como que lo platicáramos. Exactly, exactly. Because in that way, when you listen to your classmates, eh, también agarramos vocabulario, right? Uh -huh. I mean, then si vamos a escoger como uno, we're going to choose one minute for one. Pero la idea de ahorita es como más eh, socializarlo. So share. Ah, yeah, ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So share and talk. No worries. No se preocupen por el minuto. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, just talk. Just talk. That is the, the fun thing of it. Yeah. So let, let me ask you some. Let me ask you some. For example, what do you like to do? What is your favorite activity, guys? What do you like to do? What are some activities that make you happy? Um, in my case, uh -huh. uh, I like to spend time with my family and my friends. Oh, but okay. I uh, like more. Uh, I am alone. <laughs> you like to be alone? Yes. Oh, okay. It's más pero también con la gente, pero más disfruto mi tiempo. No, I mean, it's perfect. Exactly. Sometimes we need to be alone. We need just uh -huh. time to relax, time to think, right. or time not to think. <laughs> to be out. Exactly. Exactly. I got it. I get it completely. Como desconectarse, right? Como desaparecer. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I get it. That happens to me all the time. Guys, what about you? So what is something that you really, really like to do? Eh, Dolores, I don't like Dolores. I prefer, yeah, I'm gonna start calling you Sarai. <laughs> Because every time I say Dolores, no sé, es como, ay. <laughs> so, Le dolió. Yeah. Oh, so. Lo socio algo, algo malo. <laughs> no, I just did it. No, I, I like Sarai. I like your second name. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what no about problem. you, Sarai? What do you like? Eh, eh, y Mike. <laughs> I think that was a translator. El teléfono está. Okay. Mi teléfono le contestó. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Okay. In my case, I like uh, sleep. Okay. In my free time. Oh, nice. And listen to, to music. Mm -hmm. So what type of music do you like? Pardon? What type of music? What type of music do you listen to? Uh, Christian music. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Do you mm -hmm. like singing too or just listening? I'm sorry? Do you like uh, just listening to music or singing, singing too? Si quiero decir las dos, como digo. Both. Ah, ok. I'm gonna write it here. Ajá, both. Ok. Both. Okay. Both. Yes, mm -hmm. ambas. Oh, very nice. Ok. Ok, so listening to music and singing. Um, I see René to Norbert. Norbert, what about you? Hello, teacher. Hello. What is something that you like? What do you, uh, repeat the question? Yes, question one. What do you like to do? Okay. What is something you case, like? Mm -hmm. uh, working, uh, driver motorcycle, oh. uh, um, watch TV, mm -hmm. um, go to the visit a family. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay, nice, nice. It calls my attention that you say working. <laughs> I mean, okay, I didn't listen to the girls say working, but nice, nice. So, do you really like your job? ¿Le gusta mucho su trabajo? Do you really like your job? Yes, yes. Okay. It's, it's, it's nice, inter, y, and, uh, interesante. 
Interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. Your job is interesting. Get, got it, got it. Um, I also see who else? Moses, I think Moses was here. Okay, but I don't know if he's around. Okay, in the meantime, let's take a look at tour. Do you do any sport, guys? Do you do a sports? Uh, yeah. What do yeah. you do? Um, in weekly, fin, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Weekends. Weekend. Fin de semana. Uh -huh. uh, on weekends. On weekend, um, mm -hmm. uh, I am practice basketball. Mm -hmm. And football. Oh, very nice. Wow, basketball and football. Okay. Yeah. So you play soccer. Uh, you, yeah, you know, me too. I kind of play soccer. <laughs> For example, yesterday I played the soccer, but I fell down. Me <laughs> caí. So that was so sad. And you know, no sé si lo eran ver. <laughs> yeah. I have some scratches. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Girls, what about you? Do you play any sport? I, in my case, I do not practice any sport, but, but I like to ride a bike. Ah, okay. No, but that's super nice. Okay. I like but to ride a no, bike too. Not always. Not always. Not always. I do. Uh -huh, okay. So not very often, como no muy seguido. No. Not very often. Okay. Tuve un, tie un tiempo atrás, sí, pero ahora mm, no es continuar. But because of the time? Exactly. Okay. Okay. And, but I mean, um, usually, well, and hace un par de, de meses, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, in San Salvador, people, uh, se organizaban grupos, people organized, y uh -huh. salían como rodadas, creo que le llamaban, right? Los lo jueves iba yo. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I saw, I mean, yo solía ver, I used to see like, como 40 juntos in a bicycle. Uh -huh. That was nice. Me acompañé como, pero, como unas cuatro veces a los ciclistas urbanos. Que son los que salían a los, en los jueves. Oh, Ajá, wow. De, del parque Cujatlán, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. De ahí se hacían, pero nada. No. O sea, well, <risa> just, I used to see some pero del área de la San Luis. I used to see like a big group of people. Uh -huh. But wow, pero qué genial. Ay, pero como cuatro veces. <risa> como una... Muy cansado, too tired. No aguanta, es que terminamos como medianoche, el día siguiente había que trabajar y yo no tenía mucha resistencia, o sea, hacía un tramo del paseo y luego en, en carro. <risa> <risa> Porque no, no, no podía dejar tanto, no podía ir todos los jueves y no me quedaba mucho tiempo, entonces nunca agarrar resistencia. Oh, ok. Yeah, sometimes es, es, por, es que el, el tiempo, you know, the schedule. Sí. But, but I'm happy you did it. Al menos tuvo esa experiencia bonita, right? Sí. So you got that one. Exactly. Ok. Saray, what about you? No. In my case, I don't do any sport? Any, uh, any, any sport, uh -huh. any sport, any okay. sport. Uh, no, but, no. but I mean, a sport not necessarily is ir a correr, right? <laughs> For example, <laughs> chess, ajedrez. No. Chess, bowling, bicycle, I mean, cycling, um, que son como deportes más, más tranquilos, let's say. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pero, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, pero nunca es tarde. It is never too late to do it. Yeah, I mean, I like doing sports, pero uh, uh, as Mabel says, no tengo resistencia, so mm -hmm. dos minutos. Eh, like... Incluye el tiempo quizás también, ¿verdad? I guess so, yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have time. 
O también es, o, o, o quizás a veces también es como la disciplina, right? Es la práctica. Sí, yo tenía un amigo que fue el que me llevó, que él hasta se tomó unas clases de spinning para tener resistencia. Y ahora el hombre va a la unión, hace rutas larguísimas, ha ido hasta Guatemala. Pero sí le entró con todo y tenía el tiempo para hacerlo. ¡Guau! Wow. Pero... Wow. No, imagine, no. imagine Guatemala. Y ya oh, ido a hacer la ruta esta que hacen los ciclistas una vez al año a la vuelta del Pikachu, no sé cómo es que le llaman. Él oh. la hace, pero no es mi caso, definitivamente. Wow, ok. Y yo me subo ya una cuadra después, ya me le <ríe> <le> empujo. <ríe> Sí. Wow. No, pero, pero que, que, que disciplina, because at the end es una disciplina, right? ¿Qué es eso? So, mm -hmm. Wow, wow, amazing. Ok, guys, so los dejo practicar dos minutitos más. You know, you can go ahead. Siguen con el resto de preguntas. Practice, that, that is the, the idea, right? I'll see you in a moment. Hello boys, how are you doing? Hi Rene. I'm happy. I guess you're at Hello, home, okay. right? Hey Richard. How are you, Richard? Oh. How you doing? Teacher, five, five, five. Good evening. Um arriba time uh working. The work. Are you working right now? Uh, yes. Uh, um, ¿Cómo se dice ese momento? Mm, what do momento. you mean? Yes. Hasta el momento. Um, like, como ahorita, or, or what? I mean, como... Uh, no, no way. <laughs> I got, I got, I, I, I am confusing you. Um, so, ahorita está trabajando. Are you working right now? No. No, at home. Oh, you're at home. Okay, okay. Yes, solo que salí tarde. Oh, okay. So you finish late. Okay. Finish late. Yeah, I finished late. Mm -hmm. Or you can late. say, yes. llegué tarde a casa. Yes. I arrived uh, home late. I, I arrived. Uh, you can say, right. I arrived. Right. Uh, arrive. Right. Ah, let me, let me write it down. Yo llegué. So, uh, oh, pero está compartiendo. So I'm going to write it. Se lo voy a escribir en el chat. I'm going to write it in the chat. Uh, so you can say I arrived late. Yo llegué, I right, arri late. I'm sorry, I late. arrived home late. Esa expresión de acá. I arrived home late. Como llegué tarde a mi casa, oh, right? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I arrived home late. Home. Home. I arrived home late. Home late. Mm -hmm. Home late, exactly. Exactly. Home late. Yes, 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 that's the, that's the expression. Uh -huh. But Richard, so are you working closer or farther from your house? Trabaja más cerca o más lejos? Are you working hard, uh, farther or closer? Uh farther es lejos, ¿verdad? Sí, es farther. Ajá, uh, uh, farther. Oh, ok. Por eso quizás también, yes. right? Le toca un poquito más pesado. Uh -huh. Sí, But, lo que pasa es que he, he dado en el... No he dado la moto por eso, motorcycle. Oh, so, yes. ¿cómo se está yendo? In, 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 by bus. In car, car. Uh, pero más tráfico. <laughs> right, sí, sí, there is more traffic. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. okay, yeah, de las metas de este año. aprender a manejar. No, eh, new car, 
Oh, Nicole, congratulations. <laughs> okay, yes. now that's important. I mean, getting yes. a goal by, by goal. So, meta, meta, aunque sea pequeñita, you know, that's really important. So, congrats. Hi, Ignacio, aprovecho. Enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, very healthy. <laughs> no worries. Um, okay, guys. So, in the meantime, uh, we are going to come back. Espero que, you know, ha podido aprovechar uh, to practice a little bit. Let's go to the session. Y si no, vamos a practicar. No hay problema. No. Hi, Guadalupe. Yeah, me acabo de dar cuenta que por ahí me apareció, pero no worries. Um, me imaginé que el inter no le estaba ayudando mucho, entonces no, ya no la mandé a la sesión por eso, you know, porque si no el internet la va a estar también sacando. Así que ya regresamos. <laughs> no worries. Gracias por regresar. Thank you so much for coming okay. back. All right. Okay, everybody. So, oh, faltan algunos. We are missing some guys. So, mientras los compañeros regresan, while they come back, tenemos un par de preguntas bastante interesantes. We have a couple of interesting questions, right? The idea is to give your opinion. ¿Qué es lo que piensan de ellos? What do you think about them? Um, I know that one minute, eh, quizás se sienta mucho tiempo. Así que vamos a mantenerlo con 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, hasta que ya estamos, you know, more comfortable. So, I would like to have solo dos because of the time. I'd like to have two people, you know, talking about their topic. My question is, I volunteers? Do we have volunteers? Or vamos con víctimas? Do we go with victims? Volunteers? Do we have any volunteer? 30 seconds, 30 seconds talk. No? Victims. Yeah. Gracias, Brian. Thank you so much. No, okay. no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're okay. not. Son 30 segundos. It's only 30 seconds. So it's bien cortito. Brian. I am nervous. Brian, Brian. No, come on. Okay. It's 30 segundos. But, but, lo voy a dejar que, es, que usted elija. I'm going to let you select el tema del que usted considera puede hablar más, right? I'm going to let you know. Lo voy a time. Eh, voy a tomar acá el tiempo para que, you know, eh, we get it right. So, ¿cuál es el I tema? Know, I think the, I, I think the question number one. No, okay, perfect. So, 30 segundos. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Uh, go. Okay, I like uh, the cook hair. I like the watching series. Uh, my favorite series is Sweet. This recommended for Rini. Um, I like it the visiting different places, for example, Cafe Santa Cruz. This is amazing. The view is spectacular. Um, let me see. Um, I like the uh, uh, listen music, for example, Saisa. Uh, I don't know. I like the time is over. Very nice my job. Good. Very fluent. Uh, the expressions that you use, like, let me see, lo hacen sonar. No se queda callado, sino que lo hacen seguir. So very nice job. Good. Sona bien fluido. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to give you emojis. Wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Nice, nice, nice. No le encuentro los emojis, guys. Denle emojis. Give some emojis. <laughs> okay. Um, Brian, seleccione. Select next person. So lo vamos a tener. Okay. Today. Déjeme ver si está por acá. Okay. I don't view the Rene. Uh, Rene was here. Ah, no, yes, ahí está. Okay. Go. Yo, ya sabía, va, por eso te preparaste. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so, Rene, do you select? No, seleccionamos la pregunta para Rene. I think it's better. Pongámosle un, un challenge, pero no sé si está trabajando. Are yes, you working, no. Rene? No, no. Yes. Okay. So, guys, digámosle un número a René. Help me to select a number for him. Number nine. Nine. Ooh, what's a common hobby? Okay. 30 seconds, René. What is a common hobby? 
A common hobby. Go. For example, in, uh, for example, common hobby is play the the video game mm -hmm. because I know a different kind of people. Every day plays the the video game. The for example, Brian uh, plays a. Uh, don't remember it named the. the Free Fire, yes, Free Fire with other with other co-worker. And for example, in, in another common uh, hobby is I play the football because it's some people play the football, uh, soccer player every Saturday at nine. Uh, for example, with my friend, I play the, the soccer with uh, Saturday at night, but now, I I don't play. I I. Uh, and uh, time is over. <laughs> well, actually, Rene, creo que fue más de un minuto. <laughs> I didn't stop you. Thank you, Rene. Yeah. Very nice job. Um, it's a very good vocabulary and very nice way to explain that. That was really cool. Okay, guys. So thirty seconds, one minute. We did it today. Remember, la única forma de de poder presionarme a hablar es eso, you know, presionándome un poquito más. Me están haciendo muy buen trabajo, guys, así que please get ready for like every single class que probablemente sea la suya. Probably it's gonna be your turn, your opportunity. Antes de irnos solamente, let me take your attendance. All right, regálenme confirmación, please. And... Thank you. Where are you? Deme un segundo. Just give me a second here. Me one second. Igual, well, mientras, mientras me carga acá, solamente hacer el comercial. Please, guys, ayúdenme con la plataforma. Don't forget it. Tenemos hasta el miércoles para poder completarlo. So... Okay, I guess so. There it is. So, uh, regale me porfa, Anita. Present, teacher. Gracias. Uh, Brian. Present. Thank you. Danis. Mm, creo que Danis salió. Lo vi hace unos minutos, ok. Ok. Oh, hold on, give me just a second. Okay. Um, do Dolores Araí. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. So, me quedo con Sara <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one. Um, let me just check it out. Eduardo. Guadalupe. Gracias, Miss. Gracias, Jackie. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Jocelyn. Present. Ignacio. Present. Thank you. Norberto. Present teacher. Alex. Present. Present Thank teacher. you. Marvin. Uh, Clary. Hello, Miss. I am here. Thank you. Moses. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Rene. Present, present. Rene Pedrina. Richard. And Sonia. Present teacher. Present. Thank you so much. Eh, Brenda la vi hace unos minutitos por ahí. Eh, Claudia. Claudia sí la vi entrar. Present teacher. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. And uh, Karina. Present teacher. 
I also see Carlos. So I already got you. Okay. Okay, everybody. Hello, present. Thank you so much. Ok, everybody. So, terminamos la clase número uno de esta semana. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I will be seeing you tomorrow eh, with... Eh, todavía vamos con la unidad número dos. Let's go ahead and practice as much as possible. Para mañana les voy a pedir que esas preguntitas, las mismas de ahora, the same questions, practiquenlas, you know, practice them as much as you can. Y mañana sí vamos con un minuto practice. Okay. Les voy a compartir nuevamente la lista en caso que no la tengan. Tomen la foto y si la pueden compartir en el grupo, se los agradecería, you know, para los compañeros uh, que por alguna razón el internet no les está funcionando that much. So, uh, practice them, get ready, and we will have one minute for tomorrow. One minute talk. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Bye and thanks a lot. Bye guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you, old classmate. See you. Regálame unos minutitos ya aquí. Just give me one second. Ahí está. Ya aquí, ya aquí. Gracias por quedarse. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Hello, Miss. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you doing? Eh, Deme un momentito. Solo voy a avanzar acá. And uh, voy a cambiar esto. Ok, that's it. All right. Gracias, Miss. Le voy a robar acá un par de minutitos para nuestra sesión one-on-one. -on -one. Me alegra que la tengamos bastante temprano, por cierto, en el módulo 2. And, uh, um, well, first, things first. ¿Cómo se siente, Miss? How have you felt? La veo diferente today. <laughs> New look, probably. <laughs> Me cambié el look, teacher. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm like, wait, wait. <laughs> Me cambié el look. No, pero, pero se ve súper bien. Yeah, you look very, very nicely. All righty. So, um, First, eh, me gustaría saber a little bit about eh, cómo se ha sentido en este proceso y en estos meses. Um, siente que ha avanzado, siente que ahorita está como en stand-by, que se ha quedado por ahí, necesita dar un poquito más, un salto, o oh, vamos bien. I mean, tell me about, about eh, cómo se siente so far. Pues, bueno, yo siento que no he avanzado mucho. Siente que se ha quedado como en, sí. ahí en stand-by. Ok, ok, ok. Now, cuénteme. Um, ¿Ha estado practicando afuera de la clase? Uh, ¿O viendo videos, por ejemplo? ¿Checking videos? ¿Revisando tareas? ¿O está haciendo como alguna actividad adicional? La verdad que no, teacher. Mm -hmm. Casi no me queda tiempo. I understand. I totally get it. All right, all right. Um, so, la pregunta es, ¿tiene la misma motivación desde el inicio? <laughs> Are we still motivated to continue? <laughs> Íbamos súper bien, you know, comenzó con todos los powers, con Anita, like súper, súper bien. Y yo estoy segura que solamente necesita un poquito más, you know, para que se sienta cómoda. Um, now, my next question. ¿Todavía siento un poquito de miedo al hablar? Do you feel fear? ¿Todavía? Yes, Oh, ¿Qué es lo que siente que le cuesta ahorita más? La parte de listening, speaking, grammar. Quizás todo, un, poco, un poquito de todo. Por ejemplo, grammar es como la plataforma, all right? Cuando completa los ejercicios de gramática, de escoger ah, el verbo. Sí, no. Con eso no mucho. No, no, con eso no mucho. El speaking But, y el listening. Ok, ok, sí, si sí tenemos... I mean, si completa lo, la plataforma y no tiene mayores dificultades, entonces con grammar estamos bien. Now, con vocabulario, por ejemplo, la lectura de ahora, las lecturas cortitas, ¿la comprendió? ¿En qué porcentaje la comprendió? Quizás un 30%. Ok, ok, so necesitamos un poquito de vocabulario. We need a little vocabulary. Now, listening. Eh, cuando escucha a los compañeros, 
eh, qué tanto les logre comprender. A I mí, mean, las ideas así generales, right? No, eh, no, al... no me refiero a palabra por palabra, que le entiende todas las palabras que diga, no. Ajá. Pero la idea general, ¿qué tanto comprende la idea general? Quizás un 50%, quizás. Uh -huh. Pero vamos avanzando entonces, so we're good. Desde el inicio, right? I mean, from basic number one, entonces sí hemos avanzado. So, probablemente solo su, su estilo de aprendizaje es un poco más pausado, pero no significa que no avanzamos. Tal vez necesitamos como algo más que nos empuje para llegar hasta donde queremos. Eh, le voy a compartir la, los ejercicios del día de ahora y voy a aprovechar estos minutitos para, para escucharla y una para que practiquemos y veamos eh, la, en la parte de speaking si es con, 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 por ejemplo, organizar las ideas, organizar gramaticalmente o en cuestión de vocabulario es lo que más se le dificulta. Por ejemplo, la primera que vimos ahí, what do you like to do? Cuéntame un poquito de, what do you like to do? What do you like? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, what do you like? Um, ¿Qué es lo que me gusta? Algo así, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Yes, yes, exactly. ¿Qué le gusta hacer? What do you like to do? I like um, music. Ok, ok. I like to dance. Okay. What kind of music do you like to listen? What kind? What type of music? What type? ¿Qué tipo? What type? Yes. What type of music? Um, in English. Okay. For example, what type of music do you listen to in English? The Los Bees. Oh, how deep is your love? Like romantic things? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Do you sing it too? Do you sing it? Um, hay veces que sí. Sometimes. Pongo, pongo, uh -huh. Sometimes. Karaoke. Oh, but that's nice. That's a very good thing. Okay, okay. So you listen to music, you dance. All right. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Ay, no sé. Ay. Hacer tareas con mi niño porque le dejan bastantes tareas. Oh, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine. How old is your baby? How hey. old? How old? Mm -hmm. How old? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old um, is your baby? Nine. Nine years old. So he is in second grade or third grade? Third grade. Third grade. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the babies these days, they have too many activities. Mm -hmm. I understand. All right. So what about um, number four? Do you play video games? Mm. No. You don't? No. Okay. What about number five? What do you usually do with friends? Mm. What do you use? Mm -hmm. What do you no. usually do? Do with a uh, significant Uh. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no traduzca las palabras que no sabe. A I mí, mean, omítalas. <laughs> Por ejemplo, <laughs> what do you usually do? Hasta acá la comprendió. What do you usually do? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora, friends. Amigos. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. So, en general, ¿qué cree que dice? What do you think it says? Um, es que como que con... Usual y es usualmente va. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, exactly. Veo a mis amigos, algo así. Uh, yeah, oh. más o menos, más o menos. Do, esa es la palabra do. What is the meaning of do? Ay, es que me cuesta un poco a ti. <laughs> I know, pero tranquila, no worries. So if you remember, el verbo do es hacer. 
So what do you do, Sally? Yeah, I'm with my friends. Exactly, exactly. So if you see, if you don't even need to know what it means with. Yeah, one is like the brain automatically connects all the ideas. Uh huh. So we just need one word. Exactly. Okay. So uh, look, Jackie, we're going to do the following. We will do the following. For the general, we will do the following. We will do the following. Por lo general, para cuando tenemos como tareas así, eh, ¿usted utiliza traductores? Pues no mucho. Ahí veo cómo lo... <risas> Va, perfecto, no, súper, súper bien. Entonces, vaya, let's do the following. Uh, do you have hobbies? Initial hobbies. Ok, vamos a, vamos a intentar organizar nuestras ideas first. Porque creería que la dificultad más que todo está con el vocabulario. O sea, necesitamos un poquito de vocabulario para agarrar la confianza de, de saber, ah, me, esta palabra quiere decir esto y lo voy a explicar así. Entonces, we are going to do the following. De esas preguntas, de las que están acá, escoja una. You know, choose one. Y vamos a hacer, creo que el, el módulo anterior intentamos, pero no nos funcionó. <risa> vamos a intentar mandar audios, all right? Todos los días, pero ahora sí. Todos los días, every day. Le voy a pedir audio de 30 segundos, 30 seconds. Cuando usted esté, esté yendo al trabajo, you know, solo 30 segundos le va a tomar como le salga, salga you know, como caiga. Solo oh, mide yeah. 30 segundos. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, puede hablar de what do you think is a boring hobby? Y usted busca algo que le parezca aburrido. So for me, this is boring because. Y ahí invéntese algo, right? Eh, vamos a hacerlo, me lo envía como, como le salga, yo lo escucho y si hay algo que cambiarle le voy a decir, ve, agreguémosle más o modifiquémosle o revisemos, agreguémosle más vocabulario, etc. Para que poco a poco, porque vamos a hacerlo poquito a poquito, no le voy a pedir de cinco minutos, <risa> porque necesitamos primero practicar el libro. So, Jackie, yo sé que usted sí puede hacerlo, I know you can do it, yo sé que el tiempo es difícil sometimes siendo mamá, pero, pero usted yeah. puede hacerlo, you know, puede hacerlo, I'm pretty sure, confía en usted, um, tiene Anita, puede ser, Anita ha avanzado bastante, Clary too, so, y entre las tres, pónganse a practicar, you know, practice cuando tenga el chance, y si no, pues aquí estoy, cualquier cosa, escríbame, mis. cuando ya no quiera seguir, escríbame, pinche, no quiero ah. seguir, you know, <laughs> and I'm okay. here, I'm here for you. So, eh, 30 segundos para mañana. Oiga, todos los días le voy a dar una pregunta. Vamos, 30 segundos, 30 segundos, hasta que podamos ir incrementando el tiempo. All right? Ok, teacher. Ok. Gracias, Miss, por el tiempo. Nos vemos el día de mañana y espero su audio. Ok. <laughs> All right. Bye, Miss. Good night. Que descanse. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yes. Bye.